Hey everybody, today I've got my last empties video of 2015. To be honest, I probably didn't need to do the video that I did like the week before Christmas because I was not good at using stuff up during the week of Christmas. I don't know what my problem was, but I just want to get this stuff done so that I can move on and do my end of the year to the whole year's 2015 empties videos. I've got boxes and boxes and bags and bags and I cannot wait to start going through them and finding the stuff that I loved and rediscovering it and I'm just I'm super super excited for that. So the first thing I used up is something that I'm missing already. So this is the Eva NYC Therapy Session Hair Mask. It's a big 16.9 ounce size. They retail for $14.99 at Ulta, but sometimes they run a buy one get one free promo, and you can also use your $3.50 off of 10 coupon on them. It smells amazing. If you like the more perfumey scents, you'll really, really enjoy this. And I actually prefer this one in my hair over pretty much all of the salon quality masks that I've tried. So I'm definitely going to be picking up another one of these. I also used up, again, another of the Dollar General Makeup Removing Facial Towelettes. They're the Compared to Neutrogena Makeup Remover, a 10 count. They retail for a dollar. <clears throat> you can get these in the bigger packs, and they're $3.50 for $30, so it's actually a better deal to get these small little ones. Love this. They're large. They're saturated. They take almost everything off when I use them with an eye makeup remover first and then go in with this. I have nothing left behind on my toner pads. I absolutely love that. I will repurchase them. Something I will not repurchase, though. <clears throat> Sorry is the Diva Curl Set It Free Moisture Lock. It's kind of like a refresher spray. I want to say Living Proof has one. I've used that one. And it's it's similar to a refreshing spray. I've used that one. I loved that one compared to this one. This one used to work really well when I used a lot of like mousse and gel and stuff when my hair was super curly from my perm. Now that I don't mousse and gel my hair when and when I leave it curly, I just leave it like naturally curly. I don't like the feeling of this in my hair. It makes it stiff. It makes it just feel awful. If I spray this in, then I end up putting my hair up in a bun because I just, I can't handle the way my hair feels anymore. So I will definitely not repurchase that and I probably wouldn't re recommend it to anybody unless you had very, very, very curly hair and you liked to go many days with in between washing them but you like to be able to put product in your hair then that might work for you i also finished up the skin nutrition's clarifying lotion it's a 3.8 fluid ounce bottle i got this at dollar tree it was okay it was good for the cost but i'm glad that i've got this done i worked through all of my other toners sorry for that I'm now on to my two big bottles of my Clinique Clarifying Lotion. Love it. It's my it's my ultimate favorite. <clears throat> so I'm I'm glad to have this done. I'm glad to have another toner out of my collection. So I'm happy about that. I finished up a deluxe size shampoo and conditioner set. This is the Garnet Fructis Color Shield Complete Defense shampoo or fortifying shampoo and conditioner for color treated hair it was okay i i do purple in my hair so nothing helps it stay it's all gonna fall out it's a demi permanent it's just but it smelled good and it was nice i i probably won't repurchase it because i don't prefer this brand but i got them on clearance for like 75 cents each at Target, and when I calculated them up for my empties, I think that the amount of product in these three ounce containers made them like a dollar valued at like a dollar oh eight each. So I saved a little 
by trying it, I guess. I don't know. Let's see. I used up an Ulta 200 double tipped cotton swabs container. I just randomly picked these up because I was there and I was getting nail dry spray and some other like bits and bobs and just odds and ends kind of stuff. These were nice. I don't really see how they're any different than the Up and Up brand that I showed in my last empties video. And that one was 500 for 197 and this one's 200 for 199 So I've already repurchased those. I will continue to repurchase those. But I liked the con that the it was a plastic container, so it saves space on my desk. So I'm going to keep this container and keep putting the Target brand ones in it because I don't like having the big like container sitting and taking up a ton of space. I used up another Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. This one was kind of sad though because I didn't technically, it's empty, but I didn't technically finish it all up. I took it to work at the salon with me one day and I was going to repress it because it started really damaging my e.l.f. powder brush or the flat one. And so I brought it with me. I brought my isopropyl. I crushed it down, I repressed it, and was letting it sit there and dry. Something happened and I wasn't thinking, and I put the lid back on it, and it sat with the lid on it for like four hours at work, and like two days later, after having the lid back off again, it still smelled like alcohol. Like the alcohol hadn't evaporated out, that it just, it smelled so bad, I couldn't put it on my face. I could just couldn't do it, so I just scraped it all out. It's done. So now I'm going to move on to my Maybelline Fit Me powder that's in my 12 empties of Christmas. And when I'm done with that, I have another one of these that I'm going to work on, because I will always repurchase this. It's my absolute favorite. I went through a Bath & Body Works Nourishing Hand Cream in the Raspberry Meringue scent. I got this during the winter semi-annual sale last year. I hate the formula of these hand creams. They're super greasy. Um, I use them as a lotion, like on my legs and my arms, because I don't enjoy the formula on my hands at all. I will not be repurchasing. I have no intentions of repurchasing these ever again. I have one more that I'm finishing, and... I'm done with them. It's That's not going to happen. I used up a Kula Classic Sunscreen Cucumber Moisturizer with SPF 30. This was nice. Uh, it was okay. I think that $36 for 1.7 ounces is a lot. So if I'm going to do that... I would rather get a moisturizer that I really, really, really love and then add sunscreen on top of it if I need to because I didn't like it enough to be willing to spend that much for it. This is an exciting empties. I finished my pink body splash. This was the pink with a splash of warm and cozy from Victoria's Secret. It was in my finish 14 by February 14. And I don't know if you can see the marks there, but that was the progress of one month. And then the whole rest of it was the progress of the next month because I busted it open. And let me grab what I put it in. I don't know what happened to it. Right here. Sorry. I put it in a Bath and Body Works sprayer with like, you know, the good sprayer instead of the fine mist and was able to work through this super fast. I like this scent, but I've had it for like five years. So it, it needed to be done and I'm glad to have it over with and have another body splash out of my life. <clears throat> I finished the Malin and Goats Mojito Lip Balm. I got this in a birch box, in an Ipsy, in something, and I like the scent of it, but it's so sticky. I I only would use this if I was home by myself for the night, 
because it was sticky when I went to bed and it was still sticky when I woke up in the morning and that's not sexy. Then I finished up the Bath and Body Works pocket back in Mediterranean Lemon. I've gone through a soap of this scent. I have another soap of this scent. This scent is so good. It's like kind of an herbally lemon, which some people might really like. Some people, sorry, some people might not really like. I really enjoy it. I like these little sizes for my purse or on my station at work. Um, my goal for 2016 is to work through all of my old formulas, only have my new formulas left, so I was happy to get another one of these out, and this is also in my finish 14 by 14 challenge, so another item down. And then, my last item. I told you that this was a very small empties video. This was, this is an exciting one for me, because I don't remember ever finishing a full-size foundation all the way before it expired and before I had to throw some of it out. I've had a couple of foundations that I got down to like here where there was only like a fourth or a fifth of it left <laughs> but then it expired and so I threw it away and I actually like got in there and took my beauty spatula and scraped it out and got everything that I could. I really like this. I have a lot of foundations to go through before I would repurchase this, but I will definitely repurchase this in the future, I guess, is the best way to put it. I really liked it, though. And this was... What challenge did I have this in? This might have been finished 14 by February 14. I think so. I think it was. So, it's another one gone, and I'm excited for that. Right now I'm using an Ulta one for my, or the Duo for my Finish 7 by Spring. I'm not absolutely in love with that one, but because it's such a thick foundation, I'm moving through it really fast. So I'll be happy to get that one out of my life. And I'm also using the um, Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, and that one's pretty good. I mean, it's not, it's not this one, but it's it's pretty good. So that's all of my like beauty empties. I do have one food empties. I remember months ago, like months and months, it's like summertime, watching Meg's Makeup Eight do an empties video and include something from this brand and thinking I have to go to Target I have to find these I have to try them well I don't know if my Target just got them or if I'm just really unobservant because I've gone on to the dried fruit aisle dozens and dozens of times since I've seen that video and never seen this brand but it's the Simply Balanced Dried Mango Sweetened they're just, they're dried mango pieces, and it's six ounces, they were $2.50, I believe. Dried mangoes are super, super expensive, and a lot of the times, if you can get them for cheaper than four or five bucks for a six ounce, they're really hard and stringy, and they're just, like, the crap of the batch of the good stuff, but these... They were thick slices. They were still really tender. I didn't come across one single one that was like under ripened. They were so good. And I, I got these because I went after Christmas shopping with my mom. We didn't buy each other presents for Christmas because we both are the types that if we want something, we just go out and buy it ourselves. So we are hard to shop for I guess so what we do is after Christmas we go shopping together and we go to a store and at some point through the day one of us will just pick up the purchases for the other person while we're there and so we went to Target and that was the first place we had gone and we ended up leaving with almost no stuff for us and like 10 things for my daughter because that's how we shop but 
we throughout the shopping trip were getting hangry you know hungry angry and we still had other places to go before we went to lunch and so she went and was like I'm gonna there's these pretzel chips I want to try and I was like okay well I'm gonna try again and I'm gonna look and they were like right in front of my face and I saw them and I knew how to try them so a second that I got into the truck I opened one up I tried one and I looked right at her and I said damn it I should have bought more because they're that good so I knew that I had to share that with you guys because that's one of those things where I literally got the referral to try them like six months ago and then I just kind of stumbled upon them and this brand has like everything and there's you know the apple chips some of them are regular some of them are cinnamon there's mixes there's all sorts of different ones and they're so good and the ingredient list is like mangoes and sugar and mango juice and natural mango flavor that's it like they can, you can't get better ingredients than that so that's my empties video and that's everything that I finished leading up 2016 so now now the next empties video you guys see from me is going to be I think I'm gonna start I think I'm gonna start with candles and wallflowers and then do like soaps and other home stuff skin care body care hair care and then makeup last. I'm gonna make you guys wait because I'm mean. But I'm gonna. I have all my stuff, um, all my information down below. Follow me on Instagram, all that kind of fun stuff. If you guys do empty videos, link me down below because I love to watch these videos. I'd love to check you guys out and have a great day. Bye.